Hey guys, it's me, Tammy, TKD Gal here, and oh my god, I have such a polish haul video for you today. Um, this is going to be all the polishes that I have picked up over the last, what, three months? Maybe not quite three months, maybe the last two months. And then we will have a special cameo by my little fur baby here. He's right by my side, so with a squeaky toy so if you hear something squeaking you know that's just him so let me show you yes these are all the polishes that I picked up over the last um, two months or so and I have swatches so let's get into it shall we so first I want to talk about the Zoya entice and ignite or is it ignite and entice i can't remember but you know zoya's fall collection so we have here um this first polish that we have here is called sansa and it is a purple it's got a purple base with just a ton of gold and multi-colored micro glitter shimmers it's just absolutely gorgeous so take a look at that there Try to lean it so you can see the light a little bit. Okay, and that is Sansa. And then here is a swatch of Sansa. Let me find it, hold on. Oh, here we go. It is right here. So that is Sansa on the nail. I have already worn this one and um, I put it on Instagram. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, TKDGal76, you will see this polish in action. Okay, number two, um, also from the same Zoya collection. And I believe all the glittery ones are the Ignite portion of the collection. And the cream formulas are the Entice. I think that's how it is. Let me, sorry. So here is our second one. This is Remy. And this is a blue base with green and gold glitter, I want to say. Um, here it is here, and the color is called Remy. And I picked all these up at Ulta. Um, that's where I found my Zoyas. And you know, I just use like the coupon with it, uh, the 350 off. So it is this one right here. Okay, beautiful, kind of like a dark mermaidy teal blue. It's just oh, it's heaven on the nails. I'm telling you, I love it. Um, and here's our next one. This is Yuna. Yuna, and this is a gray base with that same kind of a gold micro shimmer in it. So it's kind of a gray, kind of a, a dusty, I know it looks kind of dusty blue on camera. Um, and it could be a dusty blue, but you know, my first thought was that it's a gray. It's very, very pretty. And oh my goodness, somebody is being busy. Here it is right here there it is very very pretty next we have <laughs> um, from China glaze the giver collection and this is the only polish that I picked up from this collection because I just I don't know I didn't feel like the other ones were unique enough to that I needed to pick them up what what are you doing what what's what's happening what are you doing excuse me <laughs> There you go. There we go. All right. Life is good. All right. So, but this one is like this micro glitter and it's kind of like, let me look at the swatch because it's kind of hard to tell. Um, it's kind of like it's in this clear base and it's got this brown, um, gold, silver micro glitter in it. It is just beautiful. Uh, sorry, the dog walked off my lap. Thank God. He's getting too big. And it, this one is in the color Boundary of Memory. And let me just go ahead and give you guys a close-up of that. Now, China Glaze does these kinds of glitters just so well. Um, so when I see a China Glaze glitter like this, I usually kind of jump on it because I know it's going to be a great polish. Um, but usually, if it's just a cream and it's probably something I already have in my collection, I, you know, might be more bound to kind of pass that one up and here it is on the nail it is just look at that do you see that oh my god gorgeous okay so next 
Orly's Smoky Collection. Yes, which is their fall collection for 2014. Um, I want this entire collection and I have not been able to find it in my Sally's or Ulta. Um, this is the only color I was able to find. So I'm probably going to end up going to Trans Design or something like that to pick up the full collection because I haven't seen the rest of the colors anywhere. So anyway, uh, this one is called Smoked Out. And it's kind of similar to the Zoya one, but not really uh, the Zoya and Remy. But let me tell you what it is. Okay, so it is in kind of a blue base, but it's got these beautiful green micro glitters in it. <sighs> Hashtag puppy life. <laughs> anyway, so it's got this um, these beautiful micro green micro green glitters in them and they're just absolutely gorgeous and when Orly does glitters that's another company when they have out a beautiful glitter I'm just like oh my god I have to go get it because Orly does great glitters in my opinion um, here it is up close so you see that kind of a blue base and then it's got the micro green glitters in them beautiful I really do like this color and then here it is swatched on the swatch wheel right here. Now here is Sansa, the Zoya. This is the Zoya version of it. And then here is the Orly version of it. I would say if I had to hold the two of them up together, the Orly one, um, the Orly one is a little bit more blue base, where this one is a little bit more. I don't know. I think the glitter in this one is a little bit more gold and the glitter in Orly is a little bit more green. So they are different. That's my validation for having them. Do with that what you will. Okay, so next I'm just going along my swatch wheel here. OPI. Oh, you know my heart is weak when it comes to OPI. And when it comes to their designer series, it's even weaker. So when I saw this one, um, swatched on Google and everything like that I was like hmm, I'm gonna have to get that one and then I saw Lindsay from Lindsay Does Nails she wore it and she also showed it in her favorites for I think last month oh so gorgeous this is OPI DS in tourmaline and this is kind of a pink <clears throat> this is a pink glitter and it's got a ton a ton of just these tiny micro glitters and their holographic glitters in here it's just absolutely gorgeous I love it how many times am I gonna say gorgeous but I can't help it you guys know how I get with the polishes look at that just beautiful so here is the swatch I don't think you guys are ready for this look at that look at that you're not ready for that Ugh. This is what I'm going to put on my nails as soon as I'm done with this video. I should have painted my nails before the video, but that's neither here nor there. So staying with OPI, I also picked up now I got a bunch of these OPIs because um, I know someone, somebody who has access to like the Cosmo Prof and the professional stores and stuff like that. And um, she was able to get me these OPIs at half price. So yeah. These are from the Nordic collection, these next few that I'm going to show you. And this first one that we have up is called Thank Glog. It's Friday. And I hear that Glog is like some kind of a drink over in the Nordic part of the world. But I don't know what kind of drink it is. I know that it comes alcohol and non-alcohol versions. And what I will say about this polish is that it has a kind of a maroon base and then there is a duo flash of like a purple or fuchsia in there so it's very very pretty you guys can kind of see the duo flash in there right here and then let me just pull that out oops on here so here it is right here very very pretty very very smooth gorgeous formula as usual now this next one, now you all know that this was, we just knew this was happening, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get right into this one. Do you have this color in Stockholm? This beautiful violet purple color is just like, where have you been all my life? It's like a bunch of the um, 
purple lipsticks and things like that. That That's that bright um, violet color right here on your nails. Bam. <laughs> So here it is. Now I know on camera, like sometimes people take pictures of it and it looks more blue. Sometimes people take pictures or you see it on film or camera or video and it looks more purple. To me, in my eyes, in my lighting, this looks very, very violet to me. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a bright uh, violet purple uh, in my eyes. So there we go. So let me show you guys the swatch. It, swatches beautifully um, I know that this Nordic collection some of the uh, OPI fans are kind of disappointed because they feel like there are a lot of duplicates like you know things that they've already put out and recycling colors and stuff but sometimes you know when a collection comes out we miss out on colors and you know you're like oh man I wish I would have picked this color up and it's sold out you can't find it anywhere I don't know I, I mean, I'm okay with it. If if I, if I there's a color in a collection that I have that's too similar, I'm not going to get it anyway. But if there's not, you know, I'm going to pick it up. However, this brings me to the next polish. Well, um, this one is How Great Is Your Dane? And this is kind of a, um, kind of a dark, taupey, purple, smoked out brown color. Um, now, the first thing that comes to mind is the cult classic of You Don't Know Jacques from OPI, which I have right here because I know if it was me watching this video, I would want to see both. So um, here is You Don't Know Jacques, and then here is How Great Is Your Dane. So you can clearly see that, yeah, they're in the same color family, but this one is much darker, so I had to have it. And then here it is on the swatch wheel. Hold on, let me find it. Okay. Here is How Great Is Your Dane, right here. And I did pull out my swatch of You Don't Know Jacques, which is this one right here. This is You Don't Know Jacques. Now I'm going to go ahead and put them on top of each other so you guys can see. Here they are crossing each other right there. You can kind of see what uh, you don't know Jacques is a little bit lighter than How Great Is Your Dane. So just thought you guys would want to see that. Okay next um, we have this one is kind of a color that's out of my comfort zone. Um, this one is called Ice Burgers and Fries. And to me this is kind of a neutral brown with a very very strong red tone to it it's a cream formula there's no shimmer or anything like that so here it is very very close to me it was very red and as I was swatching it I thought yeah this is kind of red and here it is on the swatch wheel right here so it's a very reddish brown in my opinion all right so almost there Next, we have another purple. You guys know how I love my purple. I mean, check out my eyes. Hello. All right. So, um, Viking in a Winter Wonderland is the name of this color. And it is a deep kind of a eggplant. Well, no, not eggplant. It's kind of a deep, deep royal purple shade. That's how I would describe it. It is not a shimmer or anything like that. Now, that got me to thinking because I know these polishes... OPI released another dark purple like last year's collection um, in the Euro Central collection. And it was called Want to Bite My Neck, which is this color here. So I pulled it out to see how close they are. And uh, again, they're not dupes at all. Uh, this is the new one, is much deeper than this one. So just in case you were wondering. And then here is the swatch. Where is it? Hold on, I lost it. All oh, my swatch wheels down here. Oh, here we go. Here is the swatch right here, sorry. <laughs> you know, it's one of those really dark purples, but even in the low light, it still looks like a purple. It doesn't look black on your nails. So I really like that. I got a couple compliments when I wore it this week too. Now this next polish, um, is from this is from an old collection this is on my lemming list you know one of the polishes that I've been kind of looking for and I've always wanted to buy but I've never been able to kind of find it 
um, and I went into JCPenney and bam, it was right there. So um, this one is My Private Jet. This is such a gorgeous polish, so gorgeous. It is a brown base with these holographic micro shimmers in it. Do you see that? I mean, how has this missed my collection all this time? It is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. My dog is tearing up something, a plastic bag right behind me, but I'm gonna let it go for now. <laughs> uh, here it is right here. And can you see the holographic on there? It is just really, really gorgeous. Is it holographic? No, it is not holographic. It's just a micro shimmer. I take that back. It is not holographic. So then I have only two more. <sighs> I only have two more polishes to show you. And they are both drugstore. And um, I picked this one up. It's from Sally Hansen. Um, sorry big smoky top coat I haven't tried this and what it is is it supposed to sorry hold on hold on sorry okay puppy all right all right just calm down <laughs> and what it is is supposed to kind of smoke out any kind of color that you wear on your nails so I haven't had the chance to try this yet um sorry I haven't had the chance to try this yet but I'm really looking forward to it let's see what the formula looks like oh my goodness oh so it's very very it's a very very sheer kind of a thing it's not super super dark as you can see from the polish handle let's see if I could swatch it on one of my lighter shades here on my wheel here and just see if there's any kind of a difference um, here let me do it on this one Hold on, guys. I should have did this before. I apologize for not being more prepared. I'll just do a, sw a quick swatch of it. So here it is right here. Just kind of a gray, very, very sheer gray kind of a color. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I see some sort of micro shimmer in this as well. So this will be fun to kind of try out to see if that's... Um, you know, see how that affects the different polishes. You can kind of give it a different feel and stuff like that for stuff that you're always wearing or what have you. <sighs> and our last polish <laughs> is um, a Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. It's this very, very light blue from over the summer. And this is in the color Breezy Blue. And I believe this is one of the summer uh, limited edition colors and I have not worn this and now that it's fall I feel like I can't I'm not going to wear it until probably next spring or something like that. So this one will have to go sit in the back of the drawer for now. Okay guys so um, thank you guys for hanging in there all this time and um, I really do appreciate you guys. I really really do. You guys um make filming fun so that's why I do it and um, I appreciate everybody who subscribes who follows me on Instagram you know and all that kind of stuff and that's it for this video but let me just show you some puppy cuteness before we go there we are there's my little guy right there yeah what are you doing oh god can you look forward who's that <laughs> He's like, okay. So, okay, guys. Sorry, I won't spam you guys anymore with uh, with Thor unless you ask me to, okay? <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.